Hey everybody, this is Pisces Moonbeam and welcome to Radco Tarot. I am here to do a little interactive reading for you about the lunar eclipse that's taking place in Aquarius on July 27th, 2018. So before we get started, just know that Radco is still here. This is still his channel. I am not invading it, but I am here to do a couple of videos for you once in a while. So here is your interactive reading. Take a moment and glance at the piles here. We got pile one, two, and three, and whichever one that you are most intuitively drawn to, just focus on, and that will reveal to you instinctively which one to pick, and the cards that lie beneath is your message and guidance for this upcoming lunar eclipse. So let's start with the first pile right here. So the basis of this reading what is the eclipse anchoring and bringing in for you? So for those of you that chose pile A, we have the three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate, a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So that's pretty exciting. Normally the three of cups card in the tarot card. And what other guidance do you need to know? Well, there is some mending that will be going on. If there have been some fallouts in love, or in friendships, even in family relationships, this is a sign that with this Three of Cups right here, what you will be celebrating is the ability to be able to reconnect and mend, maybe fix some situations. Maybe you had tried to fix them before and the timing was not right, but this to me shows that there will be a time of happy reunions and celebrations, but you will be doing some mending and some fixing. This could also have to do with the Mercury retrograde here, going over some things. Mars is also retrograde. Mars will be conjunct this eclipse, so there will be some mending going on, which is great news. And here we have chopping wood. So what you need to focus on in order to do your mending is to remain humble. Chopping wood is a card that's about being okay with your everyday tasks and doing them without wanting more and without searching for more and being humble with what you have. Like a new starting point, a new beginning. Sometimes, you know, we want to do some things and the timing isn't right or we want to reach out to people. But if you focus on your day-to-day -day task and tasks at hand, you will be able to mend those fences, which will be the causing of celebrations. And the last card we have here is diamond and it says value your self-worth you are god's precious gem so maybe there has been some healing going on the three of cups is an emotional card as well so whatever it is whether you're chopping wood or whether you will be mending and speaking and communicating with people from your past remember to always value your self-worth and stand up for yourself and i think that if you look back over the past six months, you'll see that, you know, you might have been going through a bit of a tough time where you might have not been seen eye to eye with some people. And now is the time to make those amends and start those new beginnings, but in a different way where you've emerged like a butterfly from a cocoon where you can really value and know who you are. And if there's a crystal that you want to meditate with in order to bring on the energies of this eclipse, it says right here to go for diamond. So if you chose the second pile, the eclipse will be bringing about for you the eight of Raphael. And that says there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So there is a possibility that some of you will be walking away or have been contemplating walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you. Now, what you need to know and the guidance is that you have to make sure that what you're giving and what you're receiving is balanced and that it's fair. And I just pulled this card recently in another reading and yes, it does have the scales and it represents balance, but it also represents cycles and sometimes cycles run out. New things start, eventually they end endings bring new beginnings so if you want to connect these two cards here with the eight of raphael 
you might be walking away from something that just isn't balanced anymore and isn't working for you. And with that, you will find the right people. If you do walk away and make space for the new, the right people who want the same things as you, who appreciate the same things as you, who you can have the right soulful connection with will come. Maybe you've outgrown your old tribe and you're ready for a new tribe, or maybe your, your, your communications and relationships or with your close circle of people just isn't working for you. And it, it's not fair. It's not balanced anymore. So there is something better waiting. And if you are seeking to connect with people, you looks like you will find your tribe. And the last card for you here says, Shariat, spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So whatever decisions that you make around this lunar eclipse and this aid of Raphael, should you walk away, you know, you are being protected. If things are not in balance anymore, let it go. Be fair, be fair to yourself, but let it go and you will find your tribe. And for those of you that picked the last pile here, Let's see what the lunar eclipse has in store for you. The Ace of Raphael. Whoops. And that says, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insight. So this here is the birth of something new. This could be an engagement. This could be new love. This could be a pregnancy. This could be a new idea in business ventures that can be very emotionally satisfying but there's definitely something new that will be born here through this eclipse and the guidance that goes with that is deep knowing so whatever this connection is or whatever this little seed that has been planted there's something seriously talking to you here and i believe that's coming from your intuition this is a card of really knowing where you're at and where you're supposed to be and just knowing how to connect intuitively with your emotions and making choices that are right and healthy for you it's like you've been through it you've been asleep and you're not asleep anymore you you've learned and acquired the wisdom that you needed and you're able to use that in your journey and here we have the yang energy. So this to me represents go for it. Take all that fiery, masculine, aggressive energy or that male dominated energy and pursue it. Because here's a one on this card, which connects to the one here on the Ace of Raphael. So this is definitely new creations, new beginnings. And um, I don't know why this is coming to me right now, but there could also be a situation I said pregnancy earlier but there could also be uh, possibly a male a, a very strong powerful male that is going to come into your life that you're going to connect with that's really going to help you reach your goals and feel really good about yourself whether that's through a love a romantic interest or some strange deep knowing uh being able to see into you knowing each other possibly from a past life there's a very strong energy coming in here and i don't want to you know say let the male lead because this could be you know a female could be presenting such strong energy as well but whoever you are connecting with take the action use the energy use the fire there's definitely going to be sparks there's definitely going to be chemistry whether it's a project or a relationship but this could be a new male love interest that you just made a connection with as well who really does want to be around you or if it's not love and it's career there could be possibly a male that is ready to team up with you or invest with you and the last card we have here is opal uh, for those of you who want to work with a crystal and chose this pile, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So yes, whatever ideas that you have here with the Ace of Raphael of new beginnings and deep knowing, you, you guys who picked this pile, you just know. And that energy, that fire, you might have lost it for a while, but it's back so act on it and don't be afraid to shine i think that 
this is going to be an emotional eclipse. I wish you guys all the best. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I will see you next time. For Radko Tarot, this is Pisces Moonbeam. Have a wonderful, healthy, blessed eclipse.